Welcome back to New York City, everyone. My name is Todd. I'm the founder of Outfit, and you're back for another one of our nine-minute core workouts. If this is your first time, welcome. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do nine movements over the course of nine minutes, so one every 60 seconds. You're gonna be working the whole time, or as much as possible. I'll be working most of the time, but what I am gonna do is stop early every minute. I'm gonna demonstrate what the next movement is, that way you have some seamless transitions. If this isn't your first time, I wanna welcome you back. We have new workouts like this every week, so if you hit the subscribe button, you turn on the notification, you're gonna get notified, and it really helps us out. We're on our way to 5,000 subscribers. We're less than 100 away. A year and a half ago, we had like 500. So we've had a great year and a half or so. Every subscription really counts to get us to that number, so uh, I appreciate it in advance. With that being said, we're gonna hop in pretty fast. Two quick things to talk about. First off, we're gonna talk about what a hollow body position is because I'm gonna reference it a lot. And then the other thing is we're just gonna talk about how that hollow body position applies to our first movement, which is gonna be pike raises, all right? So first things first, let's see, what is a hollow body position? Most important detail that I want you thinking about is keeping your lower back flat on the ground. So I'm going to lay down on the ground. I'm going to think about pulling my belly button down to the ground. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my belly button or take the idea of my belly button, pull it down to the ground. Legs are straight, heels together, toes pointed forward, arms overhead. This is going to be my hollow body position. And then if I talk about a lower hollow, I'm talking more just about what's happening in the middle, less concerned about those arms perhaps being up overhead. First movement we're doing is pike raises. So it uses that hollow body position. You set up <clears throat> hollow body, arms come down to my side, toes forward, toes to the ceiling, toes forward, toes to the ceiling. And this is gonna be our first 60 seconds. All right, I hope you're ready. We've been sleeping already. I'm ready, 10 seconds, we're going in. Nine minutes of work coming up. Whew. Pike raises is gonna be first for 60 seconds. We are going in three. Two, one. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're in. Like it or not, this is happening. Nine minutes. Pike raises, toes to the ceiling. Toes forward, toes to the ceiling. Toes forward, good. So notice that I'm not just picking my legs up and forward, and then up and then forward. Coming up onto my shoulders, reach, reset, reach, and reset. The other thing is, if you wanna increase the level of the difficulty for this, Instead of having your palms down, rotate, 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 palms to the ceiling, nothing else changes, and then see how that increases the level of difficulty. All right? Okay, 35 seconds in, 25 seconds to go. I'm gonna do a couple more of these with you, and then I'll show you our next station. Good, keep going, you got 15 seconds. Next station is gonna be bird dogs, nothing too crazy here. I'm gonna be on my hands and knees. We're switching in five seconds. Let's just do this together. Three, two, one. Good, extending one arm and the other leg. Pause, reset, switch sides. Pause, reset, good. Reach, reset, reach, and reset, good. So what I want you to notice is that I'm trying to get long. I'm reaching forward and back. I'm reaching forward and back. Forward and back. What I'm not doing is overextending upwards and then overextending upward, that's not it. Just get long and then go ahead and switch. You're 30 seconds in, you got 30 seconds to go. Reach and switch, reach and switch, good. Whew. All right, here we go, happy Saturday everyone if you're watching when it comes out. We are trucking along through June, this year is moving along, we have 15 seconds to go. Single leg hip extensions are coming up in 10 seconds. Whew. Gotta demonstrate these, all right. On your back again, walk those knees in, extend one leg, open your hips, come down, good, go ahead and switch. So, single leg, hip extension, fully extend, come down, fully extend, come down. I want you to do five per side. This is three, this is four, and this is five. Change the legs, five on this side. Good, one, two, good. You're about 30 seconds in here. Three, four, good. 30 in, 30 to go. Make sure you're switching every five reps. Good. Whew. All right, yeah. Hey, we're on our way to 5,000 subscribers. So close. We wanna do something fun for it. I have no idea what it is. So if you have an idea, leave it in the comments, 10 seconds in switching, and we're just gonna go straight into a um, hip extension hold, okay? So we're going three, two, 
one. Here we go. We were doing single leg extensions. Now we're doing hip extension hold using both legs. So squeeze your glutes. Big thing is squeeze your glutes. Focus on also keeping a nice tight core. So this is an engaged core. This is a relaxed core. This engaged and relaxed, okay? Trying to demonstrate how you can still be in this position and have nothing going on here in the core, or you can be in this position and be really engaged with the core. I want you to make sure it's engaged. If you're not sure, poke yourself, all right? Is there resistance or are you just sinking down in, all right? You are 20 seconds away from us switching. I'm gonna hang out here for a few more minutes and I'll show you what's coming up. A few more minutes, a few more seconds and then I'll show you what's coming up. Stay there, 15 seconds. Ooh, I felt that. You'll feel that coming out of that too. 10 seconds, we're switching plank rotations. So, plank rotations is a side plank, tall plank, side plank. Let's start with a tall plank. Three, two, one, tall plank, good. From here, I'm gonna open to the side. I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna open to the side on the other side. And then reset. Open, reset, open, and reset, good. There it is, side plank, tall plank, side plank, and tall plank. Good, you're about 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go here. Plank rotations, and then we'll go into some tuck ups. Good. Whew. All right. All right, nice job, looking good. You got about 15 seconds or so, then we're gonna go ahead and switch. What do we got coming up next? Some tuck ups using that hollow body position again, right? So for our tuck ups, we're switching in 10 seconds. <clears throat> hollow body, arms in, knees in, reset. Get ready to switch. Here we go, so we're gonna tuck, hollow, tuck, hollow, good. I want you pausing here. Pausing your tuck, balance. I'm not on my back. See the difference, I'm on my back. Here I'm bouncing on my tailbone, hollow body. Tuck, hollow, tuck, and hollow. Good. Woo. All right, how we doing? Remember, the goal of these workouts is continuous motion. Not total reps, continuous motion. You're 30 seconds in and you're 30 seconds to go. We're just trying to build the endurance and strength for you to be engaged in the core while doing other things, focusing on it during these nine minutes, that way, it's more instinct when you're just living your life. You got 15 seconds to go and then we're going into straight arm sit-ups. So keep doing those tuck-ups. Straight arm sit-ups, you're gonna butterfly your feet, put them on your feet together. Touch overhead, reach for the ceiling. Touch overhead, switching in two, one, switch. Good. Whew. Arms up, sit up. So we're doing these for a couple reasons. One, a little shoulder mobility, why not? Two, the more you sit up and then reach up, the more you're gonna keep this back more neutral. So this is gonna be a more neutral back. This is gonna be a more neutral back. If we're doing them forward, a lot of athletes like to really overextend or over around that back. So arms up, sit ups, here we go. We get through this, two more stations, and man, we're gonna get you back to life, okay? 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. Whew. All right, as a reminder, if you're here in New York City, we got workouts on Monday night, 6.30. Small group private training, uh, small group training I mean, semi-private. Growling, growling and wagging her tail at the same time. Okay. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. Keep going with those arms up sit-ups. After that, we're gonna go into a tall plank hold. All right. Tall plank holds coming up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Good. Hands are under your shoulders. Arms are straight and locked out. Squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes. Nice tight core, tall plank. If this is a little tough on the wrist, it's a little tough on the wrist. Um, what you can go ahead and do is go down to a forearm plank and hold that if your wrists are over tight. If your wrists aren't overly tight and you're okay with that tall position, let's go ahead and just stay there, okay? You're almost 30 seconds in, you're almost 30 seconds to go. So we'll get through this. 90 more seconds, you're gonna be done. 90 more seconds, you're gonna be back to life. Um, our last thing is gonna be a dead bug, the dead bug station. You do have to listen to me. It's the only one where you really have to listen. And we're just gonna be about 15 seconds away. So keep holding that tall plank for about 10 more seconds here, and then we're gonna go into our dead bug, and then we're gonna get you back out of here, get you back to your Saturday or whatever day it is, the week you're watching, all right? Our setup in three, 
Two, one, good. From here, extend your left arm, extend your left leg. Reset. Right arm, right leg. Reset. Left arm, left leg. Reset. Right arm, right leg. Reset, you got the idea now? All right, so let's listen. Left arm, right leg. Reset, stay. Uh, left leg, right arm. Reset. Left leg, right arm. Reset. Right arm, left leg. Reset, good. Left arm, right leg. Reset. Left arm, right leg. Reset. Right leg, left arm. Reset, good. Here we go, last 15 seconds. Both arms, both legs, hold that position. Don't come out until you hear that beep, all right? 10 seconds, Brooklyn is ready. She's got that look. You got it, we're ready, we're done in five. We're done in three, two, one. Woo, mama. What a good girl. Thank you for waiting so patiently, Brooklyn. Hello. Mm. Have a seat though, have a seat. Have a seat, don't leave me yet, have a seat. Thank you. All right, hey, you got this far. Thank you. You got this far. You must have liked the video. Do me a favor, please. Do us a favor. Hit that like button. If you want more content like this, we put new workouts out every week. We have new core workouts. There's also over 130 of them that we put out. So you can always go back and then watch the old ones. If you're here in New York City, we're mostly private training here at the studio, but we do have twice a week small group training sessions on Monday night and then Saturdays at one. So it's kind of bridge the gap between the cost of private training but the quality that you would get otherwise. Um, so if you're here in New York, you should definitely check that out. With all that being said, I think someone wants to go play ball, so I gotta get going. My name's Coach Todd, this is Brooklyn. Hopefully I see you again sometime soon. Until then, take care. You are so good. You are so good. You wanna give me it? <laughs>